Welcome to the Hornet series on the Clover Creek map in FS19. Today we will be buying a new truck, organizing the garage, feeding the animals, and a few other things. Today will be very exciting because we are buying a brand new Duramax. We'll be trading in our 2016 Duramax 2500 for a 3500 Dually. Many of you guys have recommended me get a new Duramax but get a Dually instead. So let's hop in this and head over to the dealership. I'm excited to be back here with the series in FS19. I will be doing some FS17 horror series very soon as well. We've had this 2016 here for quite a long time and I thought it would be a good thing to kind of change it up and get a dually and since we do have the big toy hauler and a few other big heavy trailers, a dually would be very nice to have around the property. The truck is a very similar spec, it is a high country here with a chrome package and it is kind of in a dark grey blackish color and I really do want to kind of change up the colors and use different ones as well. I hope all of you guys are having a great day, let me know how it is, mine's going pretty well so far and I'm excited to be back here with this series, it's a pretty popular one here on the channel. And there it is guys, our brand new Duramax. Now it needs a bit more money since it's a 3500 and it's a dually. And also bonuses, we get an 8 foot bed now which is great for anything that we need to put in the back. But wow, look at that guys. A few big differences right off uh, you, uh, the bat you guys can see the 2500 is higher. It's a little bit more leveled and it does not have steps. But take a look at that. I really do like the chrome on like the dark gray. Wow, that looks awesome. Do like these dually wheels as well. Now I did have actually feature this truck here in a review if you guys would like to check it out but wow I think probably a two to three inch lift kit on it maybe some aftermarket wheels but wow this thing looks awesome let's get it turned on check out all the lights really quick very nicely done and I cannot wait to really uh, enjoy this truck and put it to work around the property Everything does work here on the first person as well. So it's a very nice truck. Similar truck though. The big difference is it's a dually and it's a 3500 instead. A few things I've noticed here with the Homer series in this Clover Creek map is that we are getting kind of the same lag that we did get in the landscaping series. So I'm thinking it could be something here with the map, maybe uh, not working with the update, something like that. Now one thing we will be doing is organizing our garage. I really want to back the trucks in. It lo will look so nice having them all backed and probably a great screenshot there. And it's easier to leave as well. So we'll get this backed in and that looks to be good. Now one thing I will also be doing is uh, moving the Ford Raptor and the old F100. I think that's also a good thing. Kind of put the off-road toys all in one area. That door wasn't open in there for a minute. Now I did get a few comments asking me to trade in the RAM and for uh, quite a long time we will be keeping this. I do want to have a RAM in the series. I don't feature this brand too often and I think having one would be a nice one. Especially this is a nice looking truck. Wow this going looks so nice. Possibly if we could get like a brand new RAM Mega Cab Dually. That would be pretty awesome to only have duallys. We definitely do need to put this here through uh, the pressure wash, and I will probably do that at a later time. I really do like the uh, lights here on the Ford. They look very, very nice. I really like the design of the Fords. And 2020, uh, there are some new designs for the Silverados, the GMCs, and an update for the Fords, which is great. Now one thing we will have to do here is to have the window open just a little bit so that the fumes can kind of leave the garage area. But that... Looks awesome here and I uh, cannot wait to really enjoy the new layout. So we'll get those doors closed. Let's come over here, get this opened up, and let's get the Raptor turned on. Once we do a lot of organization, we'll be feeding the chickens, the horses, and we do now have to uh, put some manure in the greenhouses as well. 
Now we do have quite a lot of vehicles and I don't really plan on really removing any. A lot of you guys really said to kind of sell one or the other, but I, th I think it's best for the series to keep a variety. That way you guys get to see me use different things and it's kind of a nice change. We'll be using the skater a little bit today, so we'll just leave it outside. And we'll actually fill the back of it with eggs and bring the eggs back, put them in the fridge here, and then we'll probably sell some. This two-seater player is here is a very, very uh, fast one, a very touchy gas as well, and doesn't take much to really get that rolling. I cannot wait here for the springtime with some pretty epic videos to come here with this truck. I cannot wait for them. I'm really just trying to kind of do some videos along with the seasons and that's kind of what I try to do with snow plowing during the winter and not really during the summer or anything like that. But what I want to do is I want to put that in between the garages since we won't really be using it and we'll put the Shelby here. I might look into scaling down the Shelby just a little bit. It is a little bit too big, but I do recommend you guys go over and check out the GTA 5 series I'm doing here with the homeowner series. It's pretty awesome the things that we do have in it, but wow. Uh, organizing the garage, I will say, takes a little bit of time. So many different things has to be done, but looks like the collisions on this truck are not the best, but that looks to be good, and a little bit more organization in the future, and then that should be good. Probably move the dirt bike. And I think that we can put the dirt bike right next to the uh, ATV, just back it up a little bit more. We're trying to jam so many things inside, but I think uh, we should be able to fit everything and have a little bit more room as well. If you guys haven't already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and give me a follow at Square2448. I do post some pretty cool daily pictures and updates over there, and that's as close as I want to go. We could actually back the gator in there just a little bit, which will be perfect. And let's park the Raptor in there. Very nice, uh, even uh, much more organized than what we previously had, which is great. Awesome, and we'll get the door closed, get this closed, and let's go focus our time on the animals. I did get lots of requests to do this as well. Now, this tailgate, I believe, does open. Yeah, let's get it open. We gotta come over here, pick up quite a lot of eggs. Perfect, and we'll pick them up one by one. Going to have a pretty nice stack of uh, egg boxes in here. We should be able to just do uh, two stacks from what it looks like. So far, I've really been enjoying this series here. We did start it back in 17, brought it to 19, and now we do the series in both versions of the game. So uh, you guys are liking it, and I really do like it as well. And that's always a good thing, not only for the viewers to like it, but for the uh, creator. And I really uh, cannot wait to do more here. Now, these are some pretty nice eggs. We'll probably sell uh, all of them except one box. We'll probably keep one box for ourselves. And can we strap it? Perfect. So we got those strap up first. Let's go hop in the skid steer. We have to uh, clean and also feed them as well. The feed the horses and do some water and things like that. So I, I think we'll leave the gator running. We'll do the water last. There are some big differences from our 17 and uh, 19 series for the homeowner series as well. We have animals here, much bigger, much more of a luxury uh, with the things that we do offer here, which is great. Now, one thing I do want to do is a little bit more first person, especially with the skids here. So this one is oats. This goes to the horses. We haven't really fed them in quite a long time, but they do last uh, quite a long time as well. So I will be looking into the lag problem here. I'm not sure what it could be. It could be something with the map since uh, this is like a multiple uh, different save games. I've been running into the same issue on. So if any of you have ran into it, please let me know. Now 
There we go. Hopefully it takes the entire bucket and we'll just hop out really quick. Perfect, that's very nice. I think we'll probably do one bucket of each. And we do have to put some manure in the greenhouses. I did order it from the farmer. The farmer sells liquid and a solid manure, which is perfect for what we need. Probably put one bucket of straw. Have nice bedding. I've gotten lots of comments asking me for a farming series, and I currently am working on one. I will be starting it at the start of May. I really am going to be putting some time into it, finding some great American mods, and really working out what map will be best here for us. That's the goal, is to kind of do the best uh, series we possibly can. And this should be able to unload there it goes. Although this isn't too realistic, having the straw there, and... It looks like we unloaded a little bit too much, it looks like. Yeah, so that's good for the straw. We'll get put the rest back. That is actually at first how it just kept uh, uh, unloading there. Wow, that's okay. We'll just get it unloaded and switch to wheat. The skid steer does make it very helpful. We do have a trailer as well, but I think for now, especially since we have to go all the way over to the chickens anyways, we'll just take this. I think it would be pretty cool to have a mod where we could kind of have a shovel in our hands and take a small bit of it. That would be a pretty awesome thing. Now one thing we will have to do in an upcoming video is to mow the lawn. It's a very big lawn and the other thing we have to do is to spread mulch. I ordered just around 20 yards of mulch. We'll be spreading it uh, like 2-3 to three inches thick on our fun beds that are out front. So those will be pretty exciting. Cannot wait to do that. And taking all of it. Perfect. Now we do have to clean up this. Really do a nice job cleaning it as well. Perfect. And yeah, very nice clean. It always has to be clean to get the most productivity out of it. The most uh, money uh, and everything, including the more most eggs. And looks like we already have another box of eggs. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Now I did kind of look into exactly how this manure did work. It is a bit tricky, I will have to say, but it looks good. And I really wish the uh, door on the skid steer would open. That would be awesome. When you get in and out, it would open and close. But I mean, these skid steers are amazing. I really do like it quite a lot. And I thought for a moment we weren't going to be able to put them in uh, the bucket. But luckily this bucket takes manure. And that's a pretty wide bucket um, and a very wide door. But... Wow, that's a bit tricky. Let's see you get it unloaded. Going to probably take quite a lot of this as well. And we have to divide this uh, by both of them as well. So probably like three buckets each. And then we'll see what's left. We could have potentially had the farmer just kind of back in here. That's probably what we'll do in the future. There it goes, it's starting to show. So I think we'll do two buckets on the other side. That way we don't run out of manure and then we'll do just every uh, other one. Yeah, probably three buckets we could get. Taking care of all of these things is a very big cross. So sometimes you do hire people to do it, but I really do enjoy doing it as well. I really like having this hydraulic here on the bucket. It makes it a little bit easier as well when... Uh, sometimes you have roof clearances you have to work out and things like that. Yeah, probably one more bucket. And I think for now we'll just leave that little bit left. Perfect. So we got all of the manure, which is great. The last thing we have to do is the water. So let's hop in the gator, get the water trailer. We actually got to give the horses some water as well. I believe that we do have a fountain around here. I'm not sure exactly where we got the water from. It's been a long time. Uh, the horses really uh, have a big, big area for the water. And I'm actually thinking it's probably close to those piles over there where the generator is. And if not, we definitely have to order a company 
to come in and install. Actually, I see it way over there, so great. Uh, looks like we have it if we do need to get more. Pop back in the gator, and we could pick up that egg before we head back to the house. Going to have to move this small trailer. Actually, we could probably just part, uh, put it next to the other one. I hope everyone's having a great school year so far. Mine's going pretty well. It's been a bit busy, and I really do enjoy uh, learning new things, especially uh, all the different subjects that you learn in school. This is a pretty heavy load, I will have to say, but we'll just swing around and get the horses. If you do have any cool feedback here for these series, please let me know down below here in the comments. I definitely do want to do more here with these series. And we are giving it some water, but I think that's pretty much it here for today. We'll just kind of walk back over here to the house. We were able to buy the new truck, organize the garages. I think that that's a very nice thing. Now, one thing I want to do is to build a small area here for the trailer. This trailer, since we use it so often, I think it's best for it to be kind of right next to us. And you guys can see the garages are all closed, ready to go. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and subscribe for more. Thank you.